Hello, my dear Neat Warriors. Uh, this is your Captain Strayers on the Vedantu Neat English channel. Now, there were reports about the data which was provided by IIT Madras, the graph specifically. Some students had some confusion. So, I'm here to clear that, number one. Number two, some institutes and probably some channels have presented a new data saying that a mass paper leak happened or probably there were more toppers than usual and they have released some charts and graphs etc which some students are not able to understand and people feel that there was a mass paper leak okay so we'll try to analyze whether it is correct or wrong it's very simple i'm going to keep it very short and remember vedantu need english and i always stand for facts and not rumors and if you believe in the same make sure you are liking this particular video to show support for such factual videos and not just you know uh, catchy clickbaity thumbnails with unnecessary rumors we come down with only hard facts and that's what vedantu need, need english is for so quickly subscribe as well thank you for liking and thank you for subscribing guys now this was a graph which was given by iit madras which was uh, a bell curve now what a bell curve is is basically it's a standard distribution curve you might have also seen in chemistry and physics especially in the kinetic theory of gases uh, chapter right so basically if on the horizontal line, if you plot the marks and on the vertical line, if you plot the number of people, number of students, then the graph looks like a shape, uh, looks in the shape of a bell. There will be majority of the students at some mean score. Very few students will score very high and very few students will score abnormally low. This is usually how it should be. If this graph is tilted or shifted very unusually towards the high score, that means the paper was very easy. If this peak goes here, that means the paper was very hard or the competition was hard, whatever you can say. Now, this graph, if it has some two peaks or some abnormal shape, that means some issue was there and that's what IIT Madras did. They did it for the top uh, one and a half lakh uh, students approximately for different centers. Because if in a center, this graph is slightly different, that means in that center there was some issue. But they found that this graph is very much similar except for few centers here and there where the students already got caught like in Bihar, Gujarat and Haryana and so many other places. So apart from those few abnormalities, there was no major issue across India. That is number one. Okay. And also what is happening, please understand that many people are running behind this mass paper leak, paper being, uh, you know, released on this media, that thing, uh, this thing. And many of you are also forgetting the fact about re-evaluation, grace marks, all those issues have been sidelined. So, I know the paper leak is also main issue, whatever, okay, but other issues have completely been sidelined, like, you know, some students getting less time to complete the paper, etc. So, keep that in mind while we are discussing this. Next thing, what has happened is, there were charts which were released and, you know, some tables released saying that if you plot on the horizontal line, the marks and the percentage change in the rank, percentage change in the rank. For example, say 700 marks. This year, there were 20 students. Last year, there were 10 students. So, the number of students have doubled. Got it? The number of students have doubled. So, there is 100% increase in the number of students for, let's say, example, 700 marks. Now, if you plot this for every set of marks, the blue one, by the way, is if you compare 2021 and 2022, the red one is 22 and 23, the green one is 23 and 24. Previous year and the current year, previous year and the current year, how much percentage jump was there? If you see 2021 and 2022, it's almost flat, hardly any changes in the ranks versus the marks. That means if you score something this year, next year also you are scoring roughly the same. In fact, the top scorers were also a little low. Probably says that the paper was a little bit tough to, uh, you know, get full marks, etc. 2022-2023, you can see there is a small jump, couple of few percentages over here, which says that some students in the top range got, you know, really good marks and there were many, many students scoring 
high ranks as well or high marks as well. And that jump was significant or decent enough. But in 23-24, this graph, if you see, is fine till 680 or 670, but it starts jumping really high above 680 and goes up to 3000% and above. Now, what people thought is if this has happened, that means paper leak is for sure. How can this graph jump 1000%, 2000%, 3000%? I will show you with a sample data. This is not the real data. This is just to make you understand. This is simulated data. Say last year to last year, 2022 to 2023, 720 marks was scored by one student. Now the rank is basically, basically there are two students in 23. So you can see there is 100% jump. But if this year that two, two students becomes 15 students, it shows 650% change. Now, if anybody looks at this, they will be like, oh my God, sir, this percentage change was 100% here. And now it has become 650%. You know why that is? Because understand, when you go to really high marks, there are very few students. So even a small change affects the percentage massively. But look over here, when you go down the bottom over here, when you are, let's say, at 550 marks, example, this is, this is simulated data, 10,000 became 11,000. There is only 10% change because for 10,000, 1,000 is just 10%. So over here, you will not see many, many uh, changes at the, especially the tail end or the middle end. But at the top end, because even if 20 students extra come in the top ranks, it is a huge, massive change. This basically tells that, listen, many students actually, probably because of the grace marks or whatever, the bonus and anything, they probably got really good marks. Maybe the paper was also easy. Maybe the paper, they uh, or maybe just, you know, they were prepared very well. Or the toppers really worked hard, they slogged hard, and they actually did well. That is probably the ultimate truth. Okay, so I hope this matter is put to a rest. Okay, so guys, just because you see this graph shooting up does not prove anything. It is normal because a small change in the top ranks leads to massive percentage change. Keep that in mind. Now, what are the chances of renate? It is 0%. I'll tell you why. Because NTA clearly filed an affidavit saying that there was no mass leak or scam. So they have no intentions. If they had intentions like they did for UGNet and UG, uh, CSIR exams, they would have already announced it. They have repeatedly again and again told that there was no leak, there was no problem. So NTA does not have intentions. Number two, IT data shows that there was no abnormality. Next, culprits were caught. So to some extent, majority of the people are now scared to do something similar. Plus, there is a new bill which has been tabled in the parliament saying for the paper leak, if some students are caught of anybody who is getting caught, they will face massive imprisonment as well as massive fines. So I don't think anybody will dare to do this next year, which is probably a sacrifice which 2024 students did for the 2025 year, which is actually very sad. But to look at it for 2025, at least we are hoping that there is no leakage which will happen. Telegram video was fabricated. The dates were edited. Uh, sorry, not the dates. The content was edited and that was shown, uh, you know, even in that video which was posted by NTA. Also, no mass level paper leak has been proved yet. Neither CBI, nor NTA, nor Education Minister, nor Supreme Court, nor anybody has been able to prove that yet. Even these graphs charts say that this is perfectly normal. So, let me show you one more important thing. The JE cutoff increased to 93 percentile from 90. You might feel that, sir, this is a small change. No, it is not just a small change because if you talk about 3 percentile, it's like almost 30 to 40,000 ranks. Imagine a jump of 30 to 40,000 ranks in JE mains. There was no leak in uh, JE mains as such, at least at even big level or even medium level or even at a decent level. Next, J advanced cutoffs have increased to 30% from 23%, which is also considered massive increase, which means that the competition has increased even at J advanced, not just means. And J advanced, there are no leakages as such. 
number of students have also increased the number of dropper students in neat have also increased because there are five years six years seven year droppers obviously they are very serious many students are taking partial drop and now what is happening in partial drop students are not attending offline they are attending online the benefit of online is you save time so a lot of students are probably saving time by joining online courses and still doing whatever bsc degree they want to do or many students are probably taking complete drop and they are really serious about it and the droppers keep getting accumulated over years because there is no age limit remember that also the paper was very standard level it was not like extremely hard that you can say that sir how can ranks increase so much paper was very predictable if you have solved all the previous year papers you can probably easily do this paper also so if you have solved j mains papers you can probably even guess many of the questions here and we too were able to guess so many questions even beforehand in our mock test series and the most important fact the hard fact is that the competition has actually increased let's accept it guys there is no denying this fact if it has increased in j mains it has increased in j advanced it has increased in neat also and yes some places there were issues but on a mass level let's accept it and that is what neat 25 and 26 students should keep in mind that is the bitter truth whether you want to believe it or not so let me also remind you as many of you might be wasting days waiting i was just seeing the poll results many of you are waiting for the july 18th hearing fine no problem with that every day that you wait you are losing out a day for neat 2025 may 4th is the examination just 296 days it was 365 days just after the neat 2024 exam if you had decided before probably you would have got extra few days 60 70 days so it's completely up to you how long are you willing to wait i'm pretty sure july 18th may not be the last hearing there might be one more date are you ready to wait for that long is the real question so guys if you are high rankers please prepare for counseling counseling will start in third week if you are borderline students that's where the problem is explore other options anything it could be private colleges other courses or you can plan for all even a partial drop which is very practical if you are a low rank student then drop only if you are committed if you are not committed please explore other options other courses other branches going abroad whatever it is okay and partial drop if you are not sure only so this is a simple algorithm which you are going to follow depending on your ranks that's what i would say okay so that's all i wanted to tell you guys and this short and sweet session i hope you found it informative guys the chances of reneat are negligible please prepare yourself don't waste more time humble request okay thank you so much this was captain stress and if you liked my analysis quickly smash the like button and also leave a comment on what you plan to do next thank you for subscribing as well bye bye take care